What's up guys, Black Corsair and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Major 2020 for Liège, Bastogne Liège, the oldest of all the classics, the elder one, uh, as it is called, the Doyen, for those who, who are French speaking, uh, and yeah, it is technically the final classic that rounds up the Ardennes uh, treble with the Amstel and La Flèche, so you've seen La Flèche a few days ago on my channel with um, Benoît Cosnefroy ending on the podium of both my PCM race and the actual one, the, the, the real one being won by Marc Hershey. Marc Hershey, who was one of the riders I thought about taking for this race. But let's be honest, there's no one else I can take. It, it, I mean, I know I'm doing the Giro with them as well, I'm aware. But can I really miss out on Julien Lafilippe's first ever race in the rainbow jersey? The first race for a Frenchman in the rainbow since 1993, I believe. No, I can't, let's be honest. I, I know uh, Joe Otsimsorski is also doing it with Dukonank, uh, but we, we've talked about it and he was fine with me taking Dukonank. So yeah. Um, also, we didn't talk about it for the Giro, so it was purely like um, um, a... Um, I forgot the word, but it was purely log-based, right? It, it it wasn't planned or anything. Uh, but yeah, Julien Lafayette pour le vide de de Koenig en Liège Village Baston Liège with Rémi Cavagna, the uh, TGV de Clermont-Ferrand as a teammate, Bob Jungels, Tim de Klerk, Andrea Baggioli, Dries de Venance, and Maori Van Sevenant. Hopefully, he won't crash like he did on La Flèche, and if he does, maybe let go the uh, handlebar of his bike. It would seem to be somewhat smarter. And it's a zero for Julien. Let's take a look at his jersey. Let's <sighs> look at this. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of the Canuck, right? But I, I am a fan of that kit. I am a fan of that. That is, now that is magnificent. That right there, that's fashion. That's good. I like that. It's, it's I'm, I'm expecting his bike to be soon added as well. Um, I don't know if you lot saw Ghana's bike, but it is absolutely incredible it's a work of art uh but yeah well, let's focus back on the race we've already got some attacks uh we've got william bonnet for dg tom laser reto holenstein uh juan pablo lopez jose rada uh a lot of riders trying to counter attack in the peloton for now no one really allowed to be let to or to to get gone uh actually no the, the five riders i've mentioned are currently going they've got already half a minute lead uh, over the peloton Okay, all right. Also, again, if I speak uh, in a different tone as per usual, uh, as usual, uh, uh, student flat. Don't know how the noise cancellation is. Also, it is three forty-seven in the morning, and I don't want to wake everyone up. We have moved past the halfway mark of the race, and uh, two riders have joined the initial breakaway. One of them got dropped. I can't remember who, uh, but Tom Leza and Leonard Hofstede are now um, a part of this six-man group, a group that never really got a massive lead. I don't think the gap has ever gone over four minutes uh, with EF controlling the peloton. As I say that, EF on controlling it. Uh, but the last time I checked, they were. They've got the likes of Bora um, for... Actually, you know what? Let's take a look at the start list. Let's use that time to take a look at the start list. We've got Alaphilippe for De Koenig. Marc Hershey, the winner of La Flèche Wallon, is there for the team Sunweb uh, with an interesting team around. Mihal Kutkowski is here for Ineos Grenadiers with Chris Froome. Chris Froome preparing himself for the Vuelta. Schachmann is here for Bora Hansgrohe with uh, Leonard Kemner. Maybe I might have said Pete Sagan earlier on. It isn't. It's Uri, my bad. Michael Wood is here for EF. Um, did he finish on the podium on uh, La Flèche? No, he didn't. No, uh, no, he did. He did. He did. He got third. He got third. He's there with uh, Rigoberto Uran and Dan Martinez. Uh, you've got Von der Poel, obviously, the threat for Alpes in Phoenix. Dylan Tunes for Baron McLaren. Uh, and then the rest of the start list is a bit less interesting. As uh, it is, uh, well, as it, it could be on Yez Best and Yez. Again, quite a weak start list. But we do have the world champion. Uh, we don't have his runner up because Wout Van Aert isn't here. Uh, or at least not that I know. He isn't, right? No, he's not. Uh, but we do have um, his second runner-up in Marc Hershey. Right, we're in the middle of the Stoker. I'm going to try not to get blocked. Uh, Team De Claire is currently losing positions. Uh, but I'd be lying if I said I cared about him. Alaphilippe is fine. Uh, Bobby Jungles is also fine. He's going to be protected by um, by Rémi Cavagna. 
the former winner of Liège for his final ever Ardennes Classic with, uh, with De Conac. He's going to try uh, to do well to help Julien Lafilippe get uh, the first Liège of his very young career. A lot of riders got dropped following uh, Dico de Stucco, which is why I'd actually been careful to uh, be well placed. Uh, something that Trek didn't do, as Richie Bolt has been dropped uh, alongside former world champion Mats Pedersen. And we're approaching the very bottom of the Côte de la Redoute, where Liège Bastogne Liège usually would get played. Uh, we've got Team De Clare basically at the front of the peloton, but I'm not sure he's going to be able to give us the water. As long as he gives it to Julien and Bob, we're fine, and he has incredible job, incredible job. Uh, let's now make sure that we can stay at the front of this group. Not get dropped uh, after the road start becoming a bit more a bit more flat. Uh, I'm expecting many guys to come back. Bargil got dropped. Bargil, Guillaume Martin, that's already two big losses for uh, the French hopes of uh, doing well. As long as we still have Julien, I guess we're fine. Um, but yeah, quite odd. Also, that's Jan Polans starting to struggle and blocking Julien. Uh, nevertheless, we are looking quite good. Uh, with just 34 kilometers remaining, Côte des Forges approaching in just 9 kilometers for the peloton. As we've got attacks, we have Tim Wallen, Stade Pogacar, Mathieu Van Nepal, and Marc Hergé going for the move. Primus Roglic, extremely careful and extremely vigilant at the front of the group as Matej Moric goes for another move with road pulse in the wheel. Leonard Kemna, Mikel Albazini following. Uh, Ketkowski is safe on the left. Landa and Tuns are still at Bahrain with a very strong team. Uh, on this, uh, on this led by Sonia, Julien losing a few positions. I'm going to need you to come back at the front here. Julien uh, uh, following Mathieu van der Poel's um, tracks, I guess, as Rémi Cavagna is done for the day. Bob Jungels can now go and protect Julien Lafilippe as we'll enter the final 20 kilometers of the, uh, the L21 Côte de la Roche au Faucon in 4 kilometers, uh, where everything is going to get played for. And we're in it. We're in the bottom or oh, we're at the bottom, sorry, of the Côte de la Roche au Faucon. And if anyone wants to win by going on a long distance run, it is now or never. It is now or never. Julien Lafilippe, well placed, with Bob Jungles leading him. Dries Venance behind. I got blocked by Schachmann, which is not exactly cool. Um, Dries Venance also got blocked by the looks of it. Uh, as we've got a five man group, Betiol, Landa, Tuns, Woods, and Wetpools. Okay, hold up, because that's not. That's not what I expected, and that's a really odd group. Fam, what's happening? What's this? What is this race? All right, Jungles came back. Julien, you need to attack. Julien, you need to attack here, because otherwise you're finished. Come on, Julien. Come on, 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 come on. If we can bridge up to turns and woods, we're fine. I think we're going to have an interesting battle here. We're going to have an interesting battle on our hands. Because it's going to be EF versus Bahrain versus De Conang. And then the group behind is EF versus Bahrain versus De Conang. Unless Charman, Ketkowski, Van Aert come back. Which they might do. They might do. They, they, they look like they do as well. Alright. 7 kilometers until Liège. 7 kilometers until Liège. We are in a good position. Behind Ketkowski and Charman are making most of the work. Van Aert is skipping relays. Same for Landa, Betel and Jungles, that makes sense, obviously, as they have teammates up front, uh, or leaders, should I say, Tuns, Woods, and Alaphilippe. Less than 4 kilometers. we've taken a big, big relay with Julien. Uh, let me just actually take, uh, let's take Charman's wheel with, uh, with Van Rama. I'm expecting Woods and Tuns to stay in my wheel, not to take any relays. The question is, can I hold on until the line with the world champion? Let's uh let's change the camera actually for uh, for this finish. Let's let's go into a, a bit more of a of a reproached of an approached camera. There we go, of a of a zoomed in camera I guess. 1.1. One one, we're going to start our sprints, and I think it's going to be an easy win for Julien. It is indeed a very very simple win for the for the very good Julien Philippe. Mike within second. Dylan Tuns, Charman van Lama, Betiol, Bob Jungles. Landa Kutkowski and the 10th position will be for Lotus Dahl's leader Tim Wallens ahead of the two Slovenians that put the Tour de France on fire Tale Pogacar and Primoz Roglic Mark Ishii's disappointing 13th position he missed the uh, well he just missed the cut he missed the jump um, that move where, where Bahrain and EF decided to go but they might have tried everything they could it is nonetheless a win for the Gunnan Quickstep 
and win for the new world champion as Guillaume Martin and Warren Barguil crash. Ah, do you want to do something even... Uh, and you can't do something more French. You just cannot. Right. Easy dub for Julien Philippe. Michael Woods in second. Dylan Sons in third. Um, making the most out of his rainbow jersey on his first day. I think that's, that's probably one of the best things you can do. Start your campaign in the rainbow and win one of the most prestigious classics in cycling, if not the most prestigious one, liege Bastogne. liege um, Yeah, no, I'm quite quite happy with with the performance there. We've done well. Julien Philippe wins La Doyenne ahead of Woods and Tunes, as I said. Charman, Van Avema, Betiol, Jungle, Slanda, Kutkowski, and Simulins complete the top 10. Um, taking the, the wheel of Mihal Kutkowski turned out to be one of the worst decisions I could have done, uh, I could have done so in that, in that finish. Uh, but I'd rather fuck up the race with Jungles and uh, not fuck it up with Julien. Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy. I mean, let's be honest. I had the biggest favorite. Uh, so if I'd lost, it would have been a shock. But you never know. Sometimes I, I, I do weird stuff on PCM. This time I didn't. This time I didn't. And it appears to be a win for uh, for the rainbow jersey. Um, Mark Eschel said disappointing in 13th place. Dries Evernos comes in 19th. Why not? Uh, and then, yeah, everyone is a bit spread out. Uh, there's, there's no real points watching the... Uh, the classification, um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope also Julien has done well in real life, because uh, I mean he's French and I, I would like him to do well. Um, but if you're new on here, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. Um, I upload well, actually daily content right now because of the Giro, uh, so I upload daily content on PCM. Uh, I also have a podcast which I couldn't preview the Giro. I'm really sorry, but I didn't have time uh, with moving out and everything. Uh, I'll see if I can make a stage analysis or like recapping the first week or something like that. I'll, I'll try to figure something out um, because I really enjoy the podcast. It's a bit of a different change. It's a different tone, uh, but it's actually really enjoyable. And uh, yeah, as I said, if you're new on here, then please do uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Follow me on my social medias. The links are in the description down below. You got my Twitter and my Instagram. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, then do leave a like. If you didn't, well, leave a dislike and tell me why in the comments. And I'll make sure to uh, to answer all of you. But I shall see you in the very near future. My name has been Blackwall. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy Lille Bastogneige. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm leading. What the mother man need feeding. I don't want to go bombi. Them I don't know what I do when I go from feeling. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bear. Snapping with a phone and dab. Boss up, I'm out with the duster. Put him in a drip and sip, blockbuster. buster.